Sweetheart, I've beaten you too. I even gave the lark a wake up call this morning. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, it's lovely to see you up and so happy, darling. Shall I make us some tea, tea and, some and toast? Tea and toast. I've got it all here. Come on, you sit your bum down oh, there, girl. No. <laughs> yes, right. I don't want you reporting me to the pensioners' union, encroaching your shift and nicking your job, all right, girl? <laughs> oh, Alfie, it's lovely to see you in such a good mood. It's as though half of you's been missing lately. You know what, Nan? I knew them hours of you watching Murder, She Wrote would pay off. But no, seriously, right? I had an Eureka moment last night. That was even without getting in the bath. How do you fancy a mini-moon? You mean a baby? Um, you're on fire this morning. Yeah, but do me a favour, don't Nan, wouldn't you? You know, just keep it under your hat for a while, yeah? Oh, Alfie. That's so exciting. <laughs> So, what's he like then? Well, I didn't fancy him. Come on, Dennis, I want more detail. Hello. Hi. Oh, sorry, I seem to be taking up all the space here. James was just showing me some of his designs. <coughs> oh, was he? You want to watch this one, Dennis? No, he's a graphic designer. You see some of the stuff he's done. What? Yeah, interesting. Oh, this is Chrissy and that's Hi. Dennis. Hi. Oh, yes, of course, Sharon's brother. We met briefly. So you had to face this lot on your own? Oh, it's OK. No one's gone for me, yet. Eh? Glad to hear it. <laughs> Are you mad? Oh, what are you doing here? My flat's flooded. Don't give me that. You can't do this. You can't be here. I have to, Martin. Look, you'll understand in time. Right, uh, you might bring them sheets over for me later. I'll put them through the machine. I will, Mrs. Fowler. Uh, no, look, I, I ought to make a contribution. Don't be daft. You're a guest. Thank you, Pauline. Of course. No, I don't want to make things difficult. Oh, don't worry about that. That's normal. That's Pauline in neutral. Well, we'll need another load of the all. OK. So, have you talked to the builders yet, or what? Uh, well, I've, I'm, I've only just got onto the agency to get them to cancel the job I was supposed to be doing. Will you just give her a chance, eh? Sarah, about that bloke of yours. You know, I mean, is that still going on? Could he help you? Mm, not really. It's a bit tricky with his wife and everything. Although he's going to be leaving her soon, so I might not be there much longer. <laughs> I'll um, just go and get my bag. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's by the table in the lounge. Oh, right, okay. thanks. So he's some sort of artist. Graphic designer. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like he owns a bob or two. Well, I'm sure he'd show you if you asked. No, I'm not interested. But you are in what he earns, is that? No, it's just Bradley concern. I want to make sure he's good enough. Um, by the table, you said. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Women, eh? They call it tidying, we call it hiding. Do we? So, uh, you work with Sharon, she said. Doing what, exactly? Oh, this and that. I'm just like any brother, really. I help out where I can and I get annoyed if anything upsets her. Exactly where I said it was. Okay. Dennis! Uh. Is it going to be right? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to let it dry. Well, you might want to lend a hand here. Have you got everything you need? What? I'll give us a shout if you haven't. What's up with him? He's being in. Hey, Spencer! Looking good, bruv. You know, Colonel Sanders always used to look good and he didn't go far wrong, did he, eh? Right, I've got a store to run. Oh. Mm. So, before you go, Doc, right? I know your cat's little baby one in a million and all that, and you know that I love you loads, right? Alfred, I can't wait to be on the bar tonight if that's what you no, want. No, 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 it's not bad, that. What I'm trying to say is, um, what if you weren't? You know, the only one I mean. I'd love it, but it's a bit sudden. No, no, it's not. It's what cats want to do along. It's what I want. To shut up, I'm serious about our future. You know, no more broken promises. But you ain't had time to think it all through. No, but it's right, Zoe. You know, I know it is. I, I really do. I just got to sort out a few practicalities to show that I'm serious, but just keep it mum, don't you? Right. The baby? What baby? Oh, shush, Rosie. 
I'm not supposed to say anything, darling. Oh, that's why she's away, is it? Resting up before D-Day. Well, don't worry. I'm going no further. All right, babes. You're a bit before your time, love. Certainly tell me. Huh? Well, got a bit of news for you. About cat. Colourful fish will lead you astray. Herring? Mm-hmm. Well, how come? Well, well, why can't it be goldfish? Well, how's a goldfish going to lead you astray? He's going to dress up as a traffic warden and point you in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, two, <laughs> two good cars. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, mate, it's just a goldfish. Mr Linfield. No, I'm sorry, you're, you're right, it's not funny at all. Uh, yeah, I promise the car will be with you in five minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. Bye. Linfield? We get about a score of runs a week out of him, don't we? Mm. Where is he? Brooking Road. Oh, you better get someone over there sharpish. I think it could work, don't you? What could? Having a baby. You're not pregnant, are you? I'm talking about Kat and Alfie. Oh. Is she back, then? No, she's still away. I just mean in general, you know. It's kind of like the next obvious step for a couple, isn't it? Look, do you want Dennis? He went out for a run. I just thought him this. I'd best leave it here. Mickey's looking after the stall for me. I really like James, by the way. He seems really nice. Yeah, he is. Make that thick on the ground, are they decent blokes? No. Nope. Well, let's hope it works out, then. Well, if it does, Zoe, you're about fifth on the list of people to tell, all right? All right. I'll leave this. I can't stop now, babe. See you at the cafe later, all right? And that's for you. Well, what's the hurry? She had to get back to the stall. Oh, right. Dennis. What? You never said sorry. What for? For this, it's ruined. Well, it's a shame. It's not my fault. Well, yeah, but you... So there's no need to say sorry. But you didn't even try to help. What's the matter? Is James upset or something? James? No, he hasn't so said... So what exactly is the problem? Well, that's what I'm wondering. You know, you could offer to get it fixed for him. A what? As a gesture. Why would I do that, hey? It's his laptop. He broke it. It's built milk, Sharon. He'll get over it. Thanks, Martin. I'm getting back to work there. Yeah. You know, Sarah's done anything about a flat? I doubt it. You know, if you ask oh. me... I'll give you a hand with that, Mrs Fowler. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Martin will tell you where everything goes. I'll just go and freshen up while I've got the chance. This has worked out well, then. Get away from me. Well, don't go. We've got a chance to talk. Talk? I don't want anything to do with you. I know why you're saying that. You're fighting for what you've got. But no one could love you more. If you really loved me, you'd leave me alone. Because hey, you wouldn't do this to me if you did. You don't even think about what it's like. Martin, I think about you all the time. No, you think about yourself. Otherwise, you might notice. I feel sick. I don't eat. I can't sleep. Please. Just go. Is uh, everything all right, is it? What? Well, is everything to your satisfaction? Go away. He's up where he spends. What? What looks like you're selling insurance? You're putting the punters off. I'm surprised they haven't thought about it before. Having a baby. Who? Can Alfie. It'd be so good for him. I was talking to Sharon about it and she was saying. What would she know about it? Nothing. I just thought, you know, I was chatting to her, making an effort, now she sorted herself out. Sorted herself out? Her and James. And what would you know about that? We're seeing them together, I thought Yeah, but mind. you don't think, do you, Zoe? You just get it out of magazines. I'm sorry. It's me. My head's been thumping all day. I'm just not working out when I get like this. He said it wasn't his fault, so why should he apologise? But was it? His fault? Oh, I don't know. But you do, though, don't you? I mean, there's an accident. You say you're sorry. No, but this is the first bloke you've been seeing for a while. I know, Chrissy, but it shouldn't make any difference. But Dennis is just getting used to the idea. He's having a little niggle, you know. He'll come round. Yeah, but it better be soon. And is this James worth all the bother? Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, I like him. He don't put any pressure on me. No pressure? Wow, that's a first. Hey, mind you, he has asked me to go away for a weekend. Then I go? Yeah, I think I might. Ah, you look like someone who knows his way around. You couldn't direct me to Booker Street, could you? Booker Street? Booker Street? Yeah, or Brooking Road, if that's any easier. I mean, Brooking Road, Booker Street. What's the odds, eh? It's Mr Linfield, isn't it? Well spotted, son. And you work for those cowboys at two. I've seen you in the office. Well, you tell them from me that they just cost me a considerable amount of money by turning up half an hour late. I'll be round at four to cancel my account. What are you doing? 
doing? Nothing, now. Get lost. Chief! Penguin! It's only a calf, you know. Yeah, and I'm in charge of this calf, so get lost. Come. Yeah, you want to look after them? Why? Well, they're probably bugged off for a start. No, they're all right, Spencer. Anyway, I'm not my brother's social worker. Oh, Bill. I feel like I've had a wheelbarrow inside somewhere, mate. You shouldn't be out here. You should be at home. I was clipped up in that hospital for days, mate. I just wanted a bit of company and a couple of pints. All right, well, I'll go shut the shop and then tell me what happened, eh? Cheers, mate. I just got wallop by a couple of blokes looking for a motor, that's so I don't remember nothing else. Yeah, well, your mind's a blank, innit? There's ways of dredging things up, then. No, Bill, no, I don't think so, mate. All right, I'll catch you in a bit, yeah? Need none of those? No eggs, no. Pull out. Yeah, shouldn't you be at school? Oh, well, I'm dying to go back, but I can't on my maternity leave. Darren is, though. He's doing community studies. Mm -hmm. He's got a well pet people less fortunate than him. Yeah. And, well, you're his own work. Hey. Oh. What are we going to do? Linfield's going to be there at four. No, calm down. We can handle it. No, we can't, Sash. He's going to cancel the account, and then Addy's going to find out. Well, Addy will only find out if he does cancel. Yeah, but he is. No, he's got to talk first, and that gives us a chance, at least. You want to have a word with Rosie about this? I said on the telly, you get parasites in dust. No, 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 Keith. Dead skin in dust. There's nothing here to make small pair of sandals. <laughs> yeah, and if you ain't careful, them parasites will go up your joints and your follicles and uh, your sperm count. I mean, seeing as you ain't exactly done yeah, that. Yeah, all, all right. Do you want to keep your voice down, please? All I'm saying is you don't want to leave it too long before starting a yeah, family, yeah, all right? Yeah, all right, mate. I hear you loud and clear, but so does half the pub. Thank you. How do you do it, eh? Stick a pin in a map? Look, I don't blame you for getting ratted. I don't care whether you do or not. Uh, if it was me, I'd want someone to get a slap in for this. Well, I do. That is what I want. OK, and that's what will happen. I promise his feet won't touch the ground. As soon as he gets back from his hospital appointment, of course. Hospital? Oh, it's business, Mr Linfield. Can't afford to be sentimental. I'll tell you what, though. You would be a mug to cancel now. Oh, I would, would I? Look, we cocked up, yeah? yeah. Which means we're going to be trying even harder now, aren't we? Everyone from now on is going to be bending over backwards to make sure they get it right for you. <laughs> well. Which means that you get special treatment. Now, I wouldn't say no to that if I were you. Yeah, I have been hanging on. Look, I just want to get a message to her. All right, well, look, just ask her to find me then, all right? Yeah, thanks. Mickey on the store said you weren't well. Yeah, bet you got a thrill from that. No, don't say that. Look, I, I never meant to hurt you. Honestly, I didn't. Oh, of course you didn't. No, I didn't! Look, Martin, I... I think I made a mistake. I mean, maybe you're right. It's not gonna work for us. You must be able to remember something about what happened. I mean, it don't matter how small. No. So, Sam? Minty. The smallest thing can be the thread. That fills in the jigsaw. She went on honeymoon, did she? It happened. Yes, Minty, it happened. Oh, well. Never mind, I still got you an obby boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, sort of. The thing is, um, I've hung on at your gaff, you know, while you've been in hospital and all that, but uh, we'll see the flat, the video shot, well, it's become free now. So I'm, I'm going to move in tomorrow. Yeah, they sent out to carry me shopping because it was doing their own work. Yeah, well, they're good kids, really. Like today, you know what they got me? Yeah, but half it went AWOL, didn't it? The cake disappeared. Right, well, I'll ask if they see anything, right? People were laughing at me. <sighs> no, Spence, not at ya. Yeah, I don't even know when I look a prat, that's the trouble. You yeah, know, Spencer, you're talking out of your armpits. Listen to me, right? There's two kinds of people in this world, right? There's the ones that sit around and do the same thing day after day, and then you've got the innovators who give it large. Yeah. All right, listen up. Leonardo da Vinci, right? They all laughed at him, but he invented the helicopter. No, I don't think so. Well, it couldn't take off because nobody invented petrol. So. I don't believe this. No, it's true, and you know why, right? Because the guy who invented petrol, they all laughed at him, so he gave up. So that helicopter sat there for 300 years, right? <laughs> that's right, and that's innovation. And you've got loads of it. You've just got to learn how to use it. Get right? off. <laughs> Barbara's tough, Jay. Well, you see, Jim, he's just a bit older than Spencer, you see. Get away. Here, Alfie. Jim thinks you look like Spencer's dad. 
Oh, nice one. Thanks, no, no, James. No, 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 no. It's just the way you look after him. I mean, you know, when the time comes, you'll be a dab hand at it, won't you? Some bloke here to see you. Bloke? Who let him in? I did. He says he's no show until. I don't care what he says. You don't let people in. All right. We're close. It's me. Yeah, I know, and we're still close. Oh, well, Sharon said she was going to bring the laptop down here, so I could. Not uh... to me, she didn't. Yeah, well, can I just. She's not here. Look, give her a ring, make an appointment. I'll see you later. Rosie, if you can sort the door on the way out. Yeah. Sir? Rosie, just leaving. I thought I had James. You probably did. I told him we were closed. That was James. Why didn't you say? Well, no one told me. I don't remember being informed. You can't handle this, can you? Handle what exactly? You can't even bear the thought. Oh, you think this bothers me? Yes, I do. I thought we could be happy together. I keep telling no, you. No, no, listen. That's that. That's what I'm saying. I made your life a misery, and I never meant that. It's what you've done, though. No, I never meant to hurt you. I didn't want to give you up. It's not that easy, because because then I have nothing, nothing at all. I can't help that. You did, you did care for me. I know you did. I mean, if if, if I knew, if I knew that, if I, if I could really believe that, then well, I'd have something, wouldn't I? What do you mean? At least I'd, I'd have a memory. Otherwise, there's nothing. I, I did like you. <laughs> I'm glad you've admitted it at last. It makes it easier. So you mean? I you're... mean what I say, Martin. I don't want to hurt you. I'll leave tonight. You will. No, please. I don't have anything. Just one kiss. To last a lifetime. I'll tell you what bothers me. You love to wind me up. Oh, and how do I do that exactly? Well, all of a sudden he's got an open invitation. He can come down here whenever he likes. So this has nothing to do with you being jealous then? What? You would. <laughs> jealous of what? But excuse me, but I mean, you just got to get used to that. Like I did with Zoe draping herself all over you. I mean, once, just once, I bring a bloke home and you fly off the handle. It's got nothing to do with that. So you're not jealous? No. You don't mind him being around? You don't mind if you walk in and he's touching my hand? Or no. if we're kissing? Because if you don't like it, Dennis, you're in for a rough time. And that would suit you, wouldn't it? Being left in peace would suit peace. you. Peace! You bring him back home, you're all over him. You want me to see? I want you to leave us alone. Then keep him out of my face! Every time I turn around, he's creeping up behind me. Oh, so that explains the accident, does oh, it? I'll tell you what explains it. Mm -hmm. I bump into someone, it's an accident. I throw this on the floor... <laughs> ..then it probably isn't. Look up your shorts all of a sudden. All right, you don't need stuff. Look, you stole cake from an old man's mouth. You crossed the line now, you've got to cross it back. I don't say anything to Sonia. I'll ring her and explain. OK. I don't want her phoning or anything. Look, so I'll know it's don't, don't say anything. It's best if, if I just go. Be happy, Martin. Well, it ain't there. Yes, I know. I've been through it twice, haven't I? Like, I've retraced my steps. Well, perhaps you forgot it. No, no, I haven't. Look, it's on here. Look, on the list. Look, one fruit cook. Cook? Cake. Fruit cake. Oh. Someone must have had it away. Who? Them toe rag twins. But you can't say that. Did you see them take it? No, no, but they had me yakking. Oh. Well, yakking ain't a basis for prosecution, is it, Jim? Because we all do that, and you can't tie them with the same brush as their father. Because it ain't fair. On the doorstep. There you are. Someone found it, brought it back. 
this, but it ain't a fruit cake, is it? It's a Battenberg. You were jealous of Zoe. You know what it's like. This is different. Yeah. Because I got over it. Why can't you? Because you won't let me. There's something about you that actually wants all this. No. I want things to be straight between us. You want the aggravation. Oh, yeah, I just love all this, mate. You do. You provoke it. You pick on Zoe like... Don't blame me for this. You've been sniping at James all day. Because you push it in my face. You want me to be jealous. No. You want me to tell you how much I miss you, how much it affects no. me. You want me to tell you how much I love you. And no, you're of course twist. I don't. That's what you do, Sharon. And you pick at it like you want it to hurt. I want to forget it ever happened. Why? Because you never loved me? I never said that. I heard you tell Zoe. I stood in the hallway and you stared right at me. You think I'm going to forget something like that? You said that for Zoe's sake. What do you mean? It, it was a lie? Dennis, this is over and done with. Is it a lie? I was trying to help you, both of you. Did you ever love me? Dennis, forget it. We shouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, but you wanted this conversation on and on. I mean, what did you think my reaction would be? I mean, if you didn't love me, if you didn't care for me, then why would you say something like that? Please, Sharon, I need to know. Oh, Chrissy, um, I need to do some things at home. If you need anything, ask Dennis, yeah? Yeah, sure. Cheers. We've been looking at that there cake, going on about it. I had to get out of the earth. Well, don't blame you, darling. You've got my nerves and all. Then Bird tells me that you're thinking of starting a family. I should say, now and that in the wolf the gazette. Well, yeah, just there's been a few wires crossed. Oh, never mind. Hospitals can work wonders these days. I mean, I should know. No, 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 Dot. No, no, I mean, I just want to keep it private. Though. Of course, I'd love a kid, you know. You're looking a bit stressed, Alfie, not quite yourself. You shouldn't think of starting a family if things ain't right. I mean, take me and my Nick. When I knew I was having him, I had a fair, you know, it might bring Charlie and me close together, but the foundations wasn't there. The history was bad. There's nothing to build on. You know, Dorothy, I'd love a shot whatever they gave you in that hospital, because you're looking sharper and lovelier than ever. <laughs> you always was a charmer, Alfie. You know what, Dorothy, and you're right. It's about foundations, it's about history. Where have you two been? Oh, we just stopped off for a drink. Well, you nearly missed Sarah's surprise. Why? What's happened? Oh, she's sort of new flat, has she? No. She got us fish and chips for dinner, saved me cooking. Oh. Trace, we hold the fort down. I'm going to track down Spencer in the vast Beale Catering Empire. No problem, Alfie. Thanks, darling. Alfie. Hey, Spencer, nice one. You know, you're just like the shopkeeper, Mr. Ben, always popping up when you need him. It's not even worth it. How does it baby suit you? Didn't know if you'd be here. Where else would I be? Don't know, hiding. Thought about it. I don't like being harassed. I just wouldn't answer. You were sorry, but I haven't got one. Did you love me? You and me are the past. I want to concentrate on the future. Well, I can't do that until I know. There is no Did you point. Love me? Just tell me the truth. Dennis, it is history. Just tell me. All right, I loved you. Can I go what, now? Well, you did, and then you stopped till you. You know! You know full well! Why are you doing this to me? You know I loved you. I still do. So cat ain't pregnant. Oh, no, she doesn't even know I'm thinking about it. Well, everyone else does. <sighs> I know, Spence. Listen, I was coming to find you. Huh? Thanks for keeping me posted as usual. No, no, no. I wasn't coming to tell you something. I was coming to ask you something. Ask me what? Well, if you, if you think I'd make a, a good dad. You don't have to answer that, obviously. Are you stupid? I think you make a brilliant dad. Yeah? It's just, well, if things ain't that great at the moment, do yeah, you really I think know, it's the right... I know what you're trying to say. We're not trying to mend something that's broken. It's like we're trying to find something new. You know, it's a baby, what we both want. But how do you know? I mean, you said yourself, you ain't even spoken to Kat about it. She don't even know you're thinking about it. I know before me and... Cat were together, something happened. She had a miscarriage. I'm sorry, I didn't even know. That explains no one knows. Do you know they used to take Zoe away from Cat when she was a baby? Yeah. 
Yeah. They used to take Zoe out of her arms because they thought it'd be best for everybody if they didn't have a bond. So, when she lost this other baby, right, I promised her there that she'd meet somebody and, you know, she'd have lots of babies. <laughs> I remember thinking this side then, wish it had been me. <laughs> Did you think I'd make a good uncle? Are you having a laugh? You? You're gonna love you in a bitch. You're gonna be like, yes, spin Serena. Why didn't you just say it? Because it makes things worse. How? It just does. You should be with Zoe. It, it doesn't make sense. You say you love me, but you don't want to be with me. Because there's no future with me. Why? Because it doesn't matter that I love you. It doesn't matter being jealous of Zoe. It's not going to work for us. And I don't get a say in that. <sighs> no one gets a say in it. And you think we decide what happens to us, Dennis? Yeah, of course we decide. <sighs> They're not listening, are you? You see, I know what you want, and I can't give it to you. <laughs> but you think that we can? Oh, please, Dennis, I can't do this. I just want to understand. Family. What you want, what you've always wanted. Yeah, with you. Don't you get it? Go to Zoe and have your dream with her. Because I can't have children, Dennis. Ever. And are you going to say you love me? More than just a favour, this is just weird. Paula has a unique proposition for Gary. It's a thing called love at nine. Uh, before that, Carlos makes a shocking discovery. When Holby next on BBC One, you'd have to be ill not to watch.